Center lane magic, brought first up on the outside, flushed out by Golly Sad. Happy Western will drive up the inside. They come to the half, 56 and four. As a lively pace continues, they race around the first turn of the back stretch with Victor Bloom continuing to control here by two. Bean Soup still gapping on the inside. Here comes Center lane magic as he makes his bid for the lead. First up on cover third, Pebble Beach continues to race at the pylons in fourth. Golly Sam gapping badly on the outside with Happy Happy Western alongside. They're at the three quarters. One, 24 and four. Racing to the far turn. Victor Bloom, the three old Falcon Elmahurst opens up the lead some five. And it's Victor Bloom who continues to draw away. Cinder Lane Magic on the inside. Pebble Beach comes to the outside as they turn for home. Final 16th to go and it's all Victor Bloom. And Victor Bloom cruising to the wire for Dave Hawk. It's Victor Bloom to win the first at Delaware in one fifty two and three. Wow, one fifty two and three. Stepping trackside to the winner's circle. Uh, winner of the first race this morning at Delaware, getting things started off on the right foot today. Number two, Victor Bloom. Victor Bloom, a three old son off of Falcon Elmerhurst, that'll make Bloom by Sugar Tree. Oh, by Bob Colley of Ashley and Curtis Price of Marion, Ohio. Bob Colley trains Dave Hawk. He is in the sulky. Victor Bloom coming in undefeated, and he'll leave Delaware the same way. He's 12 of 12 lifetime, and today goes out with a new career record, equaling the national season's record, 152 and 3 fifths. And Sam, those first race hey, prices, hey, obviously four, place four, was the way he wanted to play Victor Bloom. As he Gildings, lining up, moving in. Top of the stretch. They're approaching to start. And they're off. First down from the inside, Grand Two Boys sprinting for the late Carolina Rich right there alongside. Winner Sandra going off stride, going wide to avoid any traffic as they round the first turn. It's Flaming Rocky. To the inside and getting away fourth as they move the back stretch. Going to the first quarter mile marker, it's Show You Right. Then comes Mr. Preston and the trailer back on stride is winner Sandra. Coming to the first quarter mile marker, 28 and 2, and Don Irvine has Carolina Rich on the front by 2. Fount with Grand 2 Boy on the inside, racing in second. Flaming Rocky right there in third. Show you right, tightens the gap nicely now in fourth. Mr. Preston back into contention, races 5, and winner Sandra is trailing. Coming up past the stands for the first time to the half, and it's Carolina Rich in from Sayota Downs, leading by 2. Grand 2 Boy on the inside, continues to wait patiently second. Fleming Rocky is right there, waiting to go in third. Halftime, 58 and three-fifths. Here comes Doc Holliday with Mr. Preston. Gunning up on the outside was fifth, now fourth, now third. And coming strong to the back stretch now with Carolina Rich still leading the way. Grand two boy on the inside in second. Mr. Preston is right there at his wheel in third. At the rail, Fleming Rocky is trapped in for it. Inside to show you right, races in fifth, winners Sabra sixth and last. Coming to the three quarter mile marker, 127 and two. It's Carolina Rich with the lead by a length and a half two. Grand two boy now with the racing room is chasing in second. Flaming Rocky to the inside, Mr. Preston begins to fade in fourth, top of the stretch, they turn for home. It's Carolina Rich by a comfortable two length. Grand two boy and here comes Flaming Rocky to the outside. Coming to the wire, Carolina Rich and Don Irvine to win the second it's Carolina Rich followed by Grand Chief Boy and Flaming Rocky. The mile one fifty five and one. Down in front of the stand to the winner's circle winner of the second race this morning number four Carolina Rich. Carolina Rich a three-year-old son of the world champion Cam Best to the Viking branch by Falcon Elmerhurst. John Williams of Cleveland Heights Ohio. Paul Huffman the trainer well driven here by Don Irvine. The fifth seasonal victory for Carolina Rich, equaling his career mark, 155, one fifth. Second race trophy by Ardern Haddon and trackside to make the trophy presentation, Ted Ramirez, along with Gene Thompson.
Well, for Carolina Rich, back half in 56 and 3, Dave. Final quarter in 27 and 4. On his way to a 155 and 1. Career best equaling mile here at Little Brown Jug Day. And I guess you'd have to say the uh, early returns on the track condition extremely fast. Yeah, this uh, overnight for three or, or for Colts and Geldings, winners of five but not 25 lifetime has turned out a 52 and three and a 55 and one mile. So uh, I'm sure that will only go, the speeds will only go downward from there throughout the rest of the afternoon. Don Irvine Jr., part of a very popular racing family in the state of Ohio. His brother, uh, Bill Irvine, was a uh, was, uh, very effective driver, still drives competitively. And um, of course, Brad Irvine, who is Don Jr.'s son, also a driver now. Yeah, Brad uh, doing a little driving. Bill, as, as mentioned, has won uh, over 2,000 races. I think Junior's well up over 4,000 wins. Uh, both members of Northfield's Wall of Fame. Now they're at the post now for race three. Third race, three old Philly Pacers in Ohio Breeders Championship. Lonnie up moving in. Field of eight behind the gate. They're in the stretch. Here they come. They're off and pacing, and our sleeping beauty fires out hard from the outside for the late TM's go go scooter right there. Getting away in second, star of the future from the pylons in third, and here comes Luke Willant early with Dream Dancer underway to the outside. At the pylons, racing in fifth as they swing to the back stretch, screaming in the night. Inside, racing in sixth is Lana Falcon to the inside, seventh as they come to the first quarter, Cinderella. And Campbell has Candy Kiss on the back end, racing eight. 28 and one for the opening quarter as they race to the far churn. Our Sleepin' Beauty with a comfortable four length advantage. Inside TM's Go Go Scooter racing in second. Dream Dancer has settled in nicely in third now. Star of the Future will wait and flush that cover is now second over in fourth. Down to the inside racing in five. Screaming in the night to the outer flow in sixth comes Lotta Falcon. Down at the rail and saving ground Cinderella and Candy Kiss is out and underway from eighth. Half and 58 seconds flat, but our Sleepin' Beauty continues the lead by two, two and a half. Dream Dancer coming first up and coming hard to challenge in second. TM's Go Go Scooter on the inside, gapping badly in third. Star of the Future is drafting along with the outside and fourth. Right there is La the Falcon, followed closely by Candy Kiss. Down the back stretch to the three quarters, our Sleepin' Beauty leads by two. Earplugs come out on her. On the inside, Dream Dancer continues to race in second with Star of the Future within striking distance third. 127 flat for the three quarters. Midway to the final turn, our Sleepin' Beauty by two, now three. Dream Dancer on the inside can't keep up. Star of the Future comes to the outside. Down at the rail, Candy Kiss with John Campbell. Final 16th, it's our Sleepin' Beauty. And our Sleepin' Beauty handles this field easily. Our Sleepin' Beauty coasting to the wire. Big battle for place, the mile, 156 and two. Well, our Sleepin' Beauty puts this championship for three old Philly Pacers sponsored by the Peter Pan Stables. Number six, our Sleepin' Beauty. Three old daughter of Sandman Hanover. Out of Bye Bye Sleepy Head by Bye Bye Andy. Home of the breeders, Michael and Leslie Stewart of Marysville, Ohio. Leslie Stewart trains. Don Feaster, the winning driver. Our Sleepin' Beauty coming in from Upper Sandusky to win her seventh in ten this year. Pacing in the mile here this morning, 156 and two fifths. The caretaker for our Sleepin' Beauty, Leslie Stewart, and tracks out to make the trophy presentation, the owner of the Peter Pan Stables, Mr. Bob Glazier. The Peter Pan Stables has been the leading stable the past number of years and currently leads all owners in 1999. You saw Bob Glazer in the winner's circle there. He certainly hopes to be there later a couple of times with the Panderosa. Just the warming up. Jug. Racing one mile, purse of $3,750. Number one is quite a strike. Home by the Indian Springs Farms of Johnstown, Ohio, James Hess, the driver. Number two, listen for Cam, owned by Tina Schreiner of Thornville, Ohio, with Dave Hawk. Number three, our Calico, owned by Dina Taylor of Washington Courthouse, Bob Harper drives. Four is Fox Valley Julie, owned by Mr. Brett Boyd of Hillsdale, Michigan, 
Bob Harmon driving. The five lady pharmacists over the Newcastle stable of Springfield, Ohio, the driver Dave Miller. Number six, Shoot and Scoot, Shopa Conklin of Sugar Falls and a dupe of Newark, Ohio, Tom D. Hall driving. Seven, send my visit, on by Fred and Pete Polk of Zanesville, Ohio, Paul Longishik is in the bike. And from post eight, why not Molly, on by George Kincaid of Marion, Ohio, Dave Repine in the sulky. The gate swings into the stretch for the start. Here they come. They're off and pacing mid-track. Lady Pharmacist hustled right out for the lead. Arcalico right there between horses, but to the inside. Listen for Cam using the inside to her advantage. And listen for Cam up to take the lead. Arcalico dropping in alertly in second now. Lady Pharmacist settles in third. To the inside fourth is Fox Valley Jolie. Followed in five by Shoot and Scoot, then comes quite a strike. The uh, trailers, why not Molly? And it's sand my visit. Coming to the first quarter mile marker, 29 seconds flat, and Miller is out and moving quickly. Lady Pharmacist from third is now on the front, and Lady Pharmacist easily clearing for the lead. Listen for Cam of the inside, racing in second. At the rail and racing in third is R. Calico. Inside fourth is Fox Valley Jolie. Next in five, shoot and scoot. A gap of two lines, sixth, quite a strike. Coming to the outside in seventh, why not Molly and Sand My Visit last in eighth. Coming to the half, and it's Lady Pharmacist leading the way a length and a half. Listen for Cam of the inside. Now, first up, here comes Shoot and Scoot. Big move from that one. Half was 59 and 4. Around the first turn to the back stretch they go, and it's Lady Pharmacist and Dave Miller leading a length right at his wheel. Shoot and Scoot with Tom D. Hall racing in second. Hawk with Listen for Cam sitting behind the leader, tracking along in third. And here comes R. Calico, second over to the outside and fourth. Fox Valley Jolie on the inside, races in five, and San My Visit is on the move from the back of the pack. Three quarters and one, 29 and two. To the far turn, it's Lady Pharmacist. Two wide is Shootin' Scoot. Up on the outside, three wide, R. Calico, and down at the rail, listen for Cam, waiting for racing room. Last center eighth of the mile ago, and down the stretch they come, Lady Pharmacist. Here comes Listen for Cam, out of the pocket with a quick burst to speed. Coming to the wire, it's Lady Pharmacist. Listen for Cam, but it's Lady Pharmacist at the wire. Lady Pharmacist, the winner. Listen for Cam, second. Fox Valley Jolie up for third. The mile one, 58 and Number three. Five, Lady Pharmacist. Lady Pharmacist, three-year-old daughter of Precious Bunny out of Amalo Bell by No News. Home right on by the Newcastle stable of Springfield, Ohio. Doug Lock, the trainer, Dave Miller. The winning driver, his 11th win this week at Delaware. For Lady Pharmacist, her fifth of her career, pacing the mile 158, three fifths. The fourth race trophy by Jerome T. Osborne and trackside to make the trophy presentation, Mr. and Mrs. Osborne. Here's our prices for the fourth race, number five. Here today, too, currently at nine to five. Well, the voice is back where he belongs, behind the microphone here at Delaware, Ohio. Let's send it up to our man, Roger Houston. Ohio Breeders' Championship, three-year-old pacing fillies. Moving in behind the Great Coon starting gate on the upper turn. The gate swings into the stretch and here they come. Off and pacing fast down to the gate between horses. Vicky's return to grab the lead on the inside. Rocky Stedman, Noble Mamzelle, and racing third on the outside. Grandma Gordy going on now. Second and going right on to the front end for John Gamble. Nuclear Kim ducks to the pylons. Fourth racing fifth. There Taylor sixth on the inside. I'm a classy last. Hope betting quarter 27 and four. He out of the turn, go on to the 3 8 mark. Casey Camario racing seven, trailing in the field on the outside. Follow the money as they race around the turn. Grandma Cordy on 
on top by two. Racing second, Vicky's return. Pacing third, Noble Mamzelle. Fourth is Nuclear Kim. As they pass the tent of the first time. Moving up on the outside. Hammer classy last. Followed by Follow the Money. Halfway home, 58 and three. On to the backside, Grandma Gordy has the lead. Vicky's return and John Plummer on the outside second. Noble Mamzelle racing third. Down the backside, go on to the three-quarter mark. About to go three wide, am a classy last. Getting the jump though, follow the money, and Dave Hawk. Go on to the three-quarter mark. Three quarters, one, 27 and three. 29 seconds, third quarter. A little more than an eight to go. Grandma Gordy with the lead, opens up. Noble Mamsell second, on the outside, follow the money, third. Less than an eight to go. Grandma Gordy and John Campbell drawing away with every stride. Making about 12 lengths, Grandma Gordy. All of the money second, Emma Classy last, third, one, 55 and three. Old Philly Pace, second division. First of $24,302. Number eight, Grandma Gordy. Dean Davis, Worcester, Ohio, the owner. Kirk Sugg trains. John Campbell gets his fourth one of the week here at Delaware. Rio Philip Towner's big guy at Amazing Sombra. Lifetime mark, 155 and three. Final half, 57. Final quarter in 28. Seventh win in 20. And a winner now of four in a row in Ohio. And for driver John Campbell, the winningest driver of all time at the Delaware County Fair. Win number 108. So John Campbell and Bob Glazer again out in the winner's circle. Uh, as mentioned before, they hope to spend most of the afternoon there, especially after the Jug E. Lemon final. But uh, there are Kurt and Brenda Sugg, and there are, I believe, twins. Twins, yes. Kurt has twins. and uh, You know a little bit about that yourself. Know a little bit about twins. It's, uh, it's a great thing, and congratulations.